Fordham University community is coming together tonight after a student fell to her death inside the bell tower on campus. Eyewitness News reporter Naveen Dhaliwal spoke to students and has the story. Tonight, university officials are trying to figure out how Sydney Monfries got into that clock tower in the first place that they say is locked at all times. And also tonight, students are in mourning, in shock, and came together for a packed church service to remember this girl that they say was very kind and good-hearted. It's good for the community to come together and, and like come together in time of need. It's been a tough day on Fordham's campus. It's just a horrible thing to happen. By now, most here know what happened. About 3 this morning, 22-year-old Sydney Momfries climbed the clock tower at Keating Hall with a group of friends. Top of the bell tower, female fell from a high location, neck and head injury. And she fell 30 feet and died hours later at the hospital. I really feel for the family. That's just very sad. It was you know, just a, a tragic incident. Yeah. In this cell phone video, former students took a safe, secure tour of the clock tower. But tonight, university officials are investigating how Sydney got up there when they say the tower is always locked. Many are wondering what the group was doing there in the first place. I haven't heard of someone actually doing it until now. People like get on the statue with a ram that's just a few feet off the ground. I didn't realize that climbing up the clock tower was even a thing. So many questions possibly bad judgment and a promising life lost in an instant. She was great. I'm sure she was friendly and kind and just the fact that so many people know her is kind of a testament to that. In a statement, the university president says that Sydney Monfries will be granted a bachelor's degree posthumously that will be given to her parents at an appropriate time. In the Bronx, Naveen Dhaliwal, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.